and so many ventures are not easy. Um, you know, so it's it's interesting to me that in the twentieth century there is one single vintage that is really pointed to as the vintage of the century, and that was nineteen forty seven. Hello, right after World War II, the vin- the, the vineyards having you know, not had a lot of men around and the women doing so many things, they couldn't be well tended to, um, that that one single vintage could be heralded so broadly, so widely is amazing, especially consider, considering the stage stage that the vineyards must have been in. Um, and then, of course, 1959 was also considered fantastic as well. And not that there weren't other good ones, but 1947 is the vintage of the 20th century. And now, even now, in the 21st, we have um, 03, 05, 09. So we're, we're already we're you know, trying roll. to rack them up, and that's certainly partially due to climate change. But um, I, I think it goes to just to go, goes to say that um, it's a tough place to grow grape varieties, especially when times are cooler. It is. And until very, very recently, maybe 15 years ago, these wines, they weren't free, obviously, but they were as close to free as you could get. And it was, it, you were able to pick up wines from 1947. And, of course, the, the Moyos were more expensive than, than the sex, but every sweetness level, every grade of old Vouvray that I have, that I have tasted, has aged spectacularly well, which is another plus in its corner I don't think there's a more age-worthy white wine on the face of the earth. Yeah, there's all that inherent acidity. Um, and, and, and I would just say, certainly, yeah, Vouvray and Chenin from the Loire um, have amazing capabilities of aging. And there's just so much acid. And it doesn't matter if it's dry or sweet. But certainly, I think that the sweet, sweet wines will long outlive the dry wines. And they are mind-blowingly good. And they, they don't just hang on, they improve. They improve. And there's a difference in the two. Yeah, and even the 1947s are not old. They are mature, in the way I am mature, not old. And they are more complex, but they that acidity makes <laughs> well keeps said. them fresh. Yes, I, I tell myself that on a daily basis. So a couple of questions are coming in. People want to know, yes. um, when we're talking about challenging vintages, were there, were there hailstorms in Vouvray? Um, Going back up, I don't know if they're talking about this year. There were there was hail. There was devastating hail in the past. I think they had hail as well this year, but I don't know how bad it was this year. Can you talk a little bit about the hail over the past three years? Um, I can speak to last year. They definitely had some serious hail in, in 2013. It was a nasty year. Um, I'm less attuned to 2012, and I know they had some in, thir- uh, in 11, but I can't speak 11. so well to 12. Sorry for that. That might be me. 